Yes, my dear friend, welcome back to the channel. This is Salon's blog. It is a very beautiful Saturday afternoon here in Southeast Asia, Malaysia, to be precise. Wherever you are on the African continent, I guess you are in your morning. In Europe, you are equal in the morning. But in, in America, you should be in your night. You are highly, highly welcome to this very special edition. Yes, in the past few days, we've not been able to produce as we used to produce. We've been having some little difficulties. In fact, uh, our difficulty can only be resolved fully by Monday afternoon. So by the time you are up in Africa, we should resolve our issues technically and we'll come back fully with three, four videos in a day. But right now, the past three days have been very tough. I find it difficult to come your way with videos. Now, this very one I am bringing to you because it's very special because tonight is our match night. Tonight is our match night. So it's going to be loaded and therefore I will not waste much time because I need to put everything together in just this one video, dear friend. Yeah. Forgive me for that, but I have to put everything together. In this very special edition, dear, dear friend, we are going to be talking about all that the coach said at the press conference. We're going to be talking about the injury update as well. And I will equally bring you my team lineup all in one. Don't go anywhere. Stay glued and take it all throughout. Yes, my team lineup, my prediction, everything in one. <laughs> yeah, you know. I am actually moving from one location to the other. I'm, I'm moving from one location to the other. And uh, the setup is not yet complete. And so we are having some difficulties with our, 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 our I mean, when you, you understand when you are moving from one city to another city. Yeah, it's quite difficult. But hopefully by Monday, everything will be in place and we will start the work as we always do. But right now, Chelsea update, Chelsea injury update ahead of Aston Villa game. Chelsea, yes, before we go to what the coach has to say last night or yesterday, Chelsea injury update ahead of Aston Villa game. Well, we still have Levi Cowell on, in partial team training. Levi Cowell, partial team training. Rhys James, partial team training. Christopher Nkuku, partial team training. Leslie Ogochuku, partial team training. <laughs> Enzo Fernandez, early stages of recovery. He had a surgery for the hernia. Thank God it was successful and he's recovering very, very well. So early stages of his recovery. Kanechu Kwemeka undergoing medical assessment. Yes, Kane is undergoing medical assessment. Raheem Sterling undergoing medical assessment. Ah, Ben Chiwell undergoing medical assessment. <laughs> Malogusto undergoing rehabilitation. Yeah, he's undergoing rehabilitation right now as we speak. Likewise, Wesley Fofana undergoing rehabilitation. Romeo Lavia undergoing rehabilitation. And uh, dear friend, who else is undergoing rehabilitation? I'll get that for you quickly. Yes, because uh, I think that is the last on the list. Romeo Lavia is the last player on the list. Right now, our injury list has increased again to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. This is a complete first team all on injury list. <laughs> well, 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 well. That is the that is the issue. That is part of the problem we are having as a football club, and that is why our coach always have something to say. But this time around, we are not going to let go. We're not going to forgive anyone. From the top hierarchy, from the owners to the directors to the coach to the playing body, we will not spare anyone. Especially tonight's game is very crucial for Chelsea. Poch himself knows very well. Listen to the. Some of the things that he said briefly. Pochettino, he said, my responsibility is that the team performs. My responsibility is that the team performs. But the club is designing a plan or a planning a structure that you need to prove work. He said his responsibility for this club, for this team, is for the team to perform. But the club is designing a structure. And it is difficult for him, Pochettino, to prove his work because of the structure the club is putting in place. The question is, didn't you know the plan for the, for the, for the club before you, you agreed to the contract? But for now, he is beginning to share the blame with everyone. He is beginning to share the blame. He doesn't want to be held responsible alone any longer. He is beginning to share the blame with everyone from the top to the bottom. He says that it is his duty to make the team to perform. But 
The club has a structure or they are designed a structure and it is difficult to prove his work. Listen, this is not my word. He said, the, but the club is designing and planning a structure that you need to prove work. He needs to prove work now based on the structure and the plan that the club is doing. He said, I don't have the key to the club. I don't make all the de decisions. Just imagine. He doesn't have the key to the club. He doesn't make all the decisions in the club. Who does that? Who makes the decisions? Who makes the... So he is part of it, but he is not to be held responsible or accountable for everything that the club is going through right now. That is what Pochettino tried to let us understand. Port sounds like he knows he, was, he is going to be sacked pretty soon. He sounded like a coach that knows that my time is up in this club. And so he's trying to, you know, put everyone together. Yes, it is not only my fault that we are in the mess that we are right now. Before, he kept saying it is a progress. It's work in progress. This team is young. It is work in progress. It, now, it is, it is not my fault alone. The technical directors, they are, Paul Wins, Stanley and Co., they are part of the structure. That is what... Paul tried to let us understand. They are part of the problem. Dear friend, he sounds like someone who is trying to divert the blame to the club. Listen, since when did, did he start doing this? From the last game, when we lost the game against Arsenal, it was so embarrassing. On helping with the summer transfer window, the same mother told us some weeks ago, that he was going to be involved, he's going to have a meeting with the owners and the directors on the transfer window. Listen to what he said this time around. He said, I don't know. On the tra summer transfer window, he said he doesn't know. I don't know that the things that we need to, the, there are things that we need to talk about. He said, there are things we need to talk about. We will see. Now, he's not being specific, meaning that there is, there, there, there is a sad line somewhere right now. In fact, he also admitted that there has not been any message of support from Ed Bali, the owners, any longer. Before, previously, after games, they normally send him a message of support. But this time around, he admitted there has not been any message of support from the owners to him through text message any longer. He said, we love to be here. We are happy. We Listen, the man knew very well that he's about to be sacked. Because for him to be saying, we love to be here. He and his coaching staff, they are happy to be here. It means that he knew that there is something pretty soon going to be happening. Dear friend, before I go to my predicted lineup, Pot says that he is not the only one on trial with this current squad. Sporting directors inclusive, he included them. Now listen, he said, I don't have the keys to the club. I don't take all the decisions here. That is, the, that is to be made clear. He said that should be made clear to everyone that he doesn't make all the decisions. He doesn't have the key to the club. What are we seeing? Tonight's game is a must win for Chelsea. Anything below that, he could be sacked tonight. I will not be surprised. I will not be surprised. I will not be sur surprised. But quickly, before I let you go, let me go to my predicted lineup. Yes, my time is... I'm already after eight minutes. My team prediction for tonight's game. In the absence of Enzo, yes, Enzo is one player that personally I don't like his partnership with Casado. He is not well. I am not happy that he's not well. But the fact is that it makes room, it gives room for other players to perform. We've seen Gallagher partner with Enzo and they did very well. We expected the same partnership against Arsenal, but the coach did different things altogether. I am still going to predict Jackson heading the attack, Modric on the left flank. Madreke on the right, Kopama as the number 10, Galaga and Kasaido patterning the double pivot. Galaga and Kasaido double pivot. On my left side of the defense, Makukrela. On my right side of the defense, I'll bring you the Sassi. No more but their Shelly. The Sassi on my right side of the defense. And center of defense, I will go for Thiago Silva and Trevor Chaloba. Center of defense. In goalpost, I'll maintain Petrovic. My scoreline or my scoreline prediction is what? 
2-1 in favor of Chelsea. If we can go with this prediction, even though we are going to Aston Villa home, they are very tough not to break in their own home. It's not going to be easy, but I predict Chelsea wins 2-1 tonight. Dear friend, quickly, on some other news, breaking news, breaking news, like I told you, this particular one is loaded. Breaking news. And Slot will be new Liverpool head coach replacing Jurgen Klopp. Yes, and Slot, agreement in place. Agreement sealed on compensation between Final and Liverpool FC. Here we go, according to Fabrizio Romano. According to Fabrizio Romano. Dear friend, well, I cannot guarantee my coming back after the match tonight, but whatever it is, I will surely bring you update tomorrow. I will see you in the next one where you see me, dear friend. Shalom and peace.